what's up YouTube and Galactic here. Um, today I'm doing a video of repairing my Super Racer by FL7. Um, as you can see right here, there's a heating error. Okay, so first step is to remove the sock and sock, which I already removed that. Now I'm going for the fan shrouds. Now I'm going to be removing the screws on the bottom here, there's four of them, and it is the same size Allen wrench. So the two closer together are what holds the hot ends together, and this one over here is holding the top housing. Okay, so now it can slide out and come out all the way. The temperature sensor was certainly not seated in the heating block, so that could have been the problem. From looking at it, it looks like I can probably loosen this out set screw here and slide out the temperature sensor. Okay, I took it all the way out. And just going to push on the sensor from this side. Looks like it's fused with a bit of plastic there. Okay guys, um, I just attempted to pull the old temperature sensor out of the tape so I wouldn't have to cut it because it looks like it's heat resistant tape. I'm just going to cut it. Got the old sensor out. Sensor here fits on. Got the set screw. Make sure this is pushed forward all the way as far as it'll go and just gently tighten the set screw. There are two set screws here. And now the heating element slides right out. just completed a print before it failed, which is interesting that it was perfectly functional and that it just, just died, so I don't know. I've stretched this part back so I can reinstall this part here is this slip back out. 
So you only want this down about that far. And you don't want the set screw very tight at all. I'm just going to put this through here. ETFE tube through this far as it'll go. A pair of needle nose and usually you want filament in the PTFE, but you can just really make sure that it's all the way down. Install that to help make sure the PTFE tube doesn't split into pieces. not to get burned. Okay, there it is. Go ahead and install the new nozzle. Um, best way I've found to do this is to uh, actually thread the first part in by hand. So you have to be very careful not to get burned, but you also don't want to cross thread the nozzle. New nozzle is installed, success. So here's the old parts, this is the old heating element which no longer works, that's garbage, the old thermistor which um, could be still good possibly, the old nozzle which is garbage. But yeah, um, that is it guys, um, thank you very much for watching.